And you tell me Bawonio Shewa Da 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 Shewa And you tell me Bawonio Shewa Da 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 Shewa If you don't understand Yoruba, it's my people How are you doing? Shewa alright At least you will know the meaning of Shewa alright how are you doing it's good to be back it's good to see you guys again how's your week been and how has october been so far don't say it's too early now it's not just how many days into october nope 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 how has october been for you my week has been great october has been great so far the highlight for me is that i took three days of work <laughs> to rest to chill to just you know just relax the body. I did not all my alarms and you don't turn them off, 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 off. Just a few were left for but later in the day. And you know, I was able to sleep. I get to wake up like eight. But the thing is, my body still wakes up at five. But I know that ah no, I'm not going on there. I'm not going anywhere. There's nobody to um uh, follow up, there's no work to do. So just chill. Then I go back to sleep. I just have had a great week so far and i trust you're doing well welcome to the single savings if you're new here welcome my name is modupe and this is the singles haven thank you so much for joining us you people thank you thank you thank you thank you do you know how many we are right now 82 subscribers the last time i checked and then i shiny latte one So today's topic is on my journey to celibacy and let me give you a backstory. I'm sure if you're a Catholic, you relate to this. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been 365 days since my last confession. Then you go ahead and confess your sins to the Father. May I want to ask you that you're Catholic. Do you really, 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 really confess your sins to the father, to the reverend father, to the priest? When I used to go for confession then, I can't remember exactly what I used to confess, but you know, I just used to, I just used to say something. And well, that was what, well, when we were much younger, maybe bad as bad, you lied, disobeyed, one thing or the other like that. But as an adult, do you really confess your sins? I did, I did confess my sins and I'm going to share with you. I confessed my sins to one of my pastors. I think this was sometime in, um, 2014, 2013 or 2014 thereabout. So, um, I was sitting in service. I remember vividly I was living with my, um, aunts and family. I, I usually go for first service and first service is, I think 6.15 or no, 6.30. So I'll just, um, no, okay. I'll take a walk. No, it's going back home that I used to take a walk. I'll come to church. That particular morning, I was sitting in service and I was not paying attention to what was being, you know, what was being done. I was just thinking, talk to, talk to pastor this, talk to pastor, talk to this pastor. I was just, her name was ringing in my head. So I now wrote a note and gave it to some, uh, I, I, I put a name on it. I gave it to somebody to help me pass it to the protocol who now gave it to her. I came back. I She gave me an appointment or time to see her. Shot. It was after the last service. I can't remember what, maybe third or fourth service then. The church, Global Impact Church, was in Sri Liri then. It's still in Sri Liri now. <laughs> but, you know, the main church it was in Sri Liri back then. So um, I went back home. I came back and I went to see her. I was crying. As soon as we sat down, we sat down in one corner of the hall and I was just crying. I was just crying. She was like, Mudupe, calm down. What is it? What happened? And I told her that I've been having sex. I think even in that, my confession, I lied. She now asked who? I was having sex with a church member. He is my friend. But I now lied against my ex-boyfriend. Hey, Father Lord, forgive me. <laughs> I should have put down my ex-boyfriend's name. She was not like, okay. And I, I, the part was, I just wanted to stop. 
because I knew I, you know, rededicated my life to God. I, I didn't want to go there again. You know, I, I was coming from there. I didn't want to go back there again. So I was like, okay, let me confess my sins. And she was just said that, okay, this is what you do. You delete this person's number. Um, when you feel like going to see this person or when you feel like talking to this person, just call me or just text me, code red, code red, code red. I was like, okay. Um, I can't remember what else I said, but that was my, the focus is I confessed my sins to her. She prayed with me. So my friend, one of my friends was outside. Um, we jumped and I was, she hugged me where, you know, I was still, my eyes were very red, like blood red, apple red. They were very red. She was um, consoling me. I was crying. I remember the senior pastor passed and somebody was like, are you okay? What happened? Kiriko, Kiriko. And I said, uh, don't worry, sir. I have spoken to pastor X, Y, Z. He was like, okay, are you sure? And now prayed with me and he left. So that day I told him, okay, that, yeah, that's my friend. I told him, okay, that, okay, this is um, X, Y, Z. This is what happened. She now said, okay, that, um, she would, anytime I feel like seeing this person, anytime I feel like talking to this person, going to see this person, I should call her. She would, you know, distract me. She will caution me and stuff like that. And we have that agreement. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. It was hard. Hey, <laughs> it was hard because I still saw the guy after. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I still saw him after, ah, but bit by bit, I could hear pastor's voice in my head. As pastor, I confessed to, I could hear her voice in my head. I could hear Sunke's voice in my head. So I was like, okay, bit by bit, what can I do? What can I do? One of the things I remember um, pastor saying was that she, um, she said that over time, what are you going to use in replacing what you used to do? Okay, you, when do you used to go? When do you go to his house? Um, at most of the time it was after work. I used to work on the island. Then I'll go there after work. Um, and she was like, "Okay, so what would you do henceforth?" And here are some of the lessons that I I learned on this journey. Sin thrives in secrecy. And here is why I say so. After confessing to um, my pastor and sharing with my friend, I started to hear their voices in my head. Even when I was going to see this person, I would hear their voices in my head. Then gradually, it started to reduce, like my wanting to talk to this person, my wanting to go there, because I know that I am accountable to these two people. Number one, I got accountability partner. So if anything was when I felt like going to see this guy when I'm coming from work and I feel like, ah, oh, man, I need to go to this guy. Let me go and collect. How now divert my attention to Tinuke. Babe, Oma, this is how I'm feeling. You know. She will call me or will continue to chat. Nope, you're not going. She'll find a way to distract me. Okay, fine. If I don't go and I'm at home, I probably am feeling my body is doing me gish gish, feeling like you want to do some ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. And I'll text her, I'll be a mom, this is how I'm feeling, you know. She will distract me, she will make me laugh, she will yab me, and that's how I will forget. Accountability partner. Then two, I set boundaries. Woo -hoo -hoo. I set boundaries. You know when you're used to chatting, calling, in the middle of the night, 10, 11, 12? I stopped, I put it at 10. All chats, calls, ends at 10. I will say that there are times that I have gone beyond these boundaries, but I, you know, I will remember that Omo, you set these boundaries for a reason, particularly with people who, um, who like me and I like them in return or who like me and I'm not sure about whether I like them or not yet. I set boundaries. I tell occasionally, I'll just say, okay, uh, when it's like 9.45, or almost 10 o'clock, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to shut down very soon. So in case I don't respond to you anymore, 
that's me shutting down and i truly do so i either just put my phone on dnd or put it on flight mode it's hard there are times i've broken this rule it's hard but i will do it that's the time that you um that's the time that somebody will remember to ask you what are you wearing ah you too you would talk you say i'm wearing a bum shorts and shimmy or do you know I have a hard on? Can you cook and go? Now that's where it all starts. Text me this. Send me a picture of yourself and all that. That is where it all starts. So I put a boundary in place. I've been there. I've done that before. That's why I'm sharing. I'm not ashamed to share that. I have been there. I have done that before. Number two. Um, I learned to do new things in place of what I used to do. So for instance, I used to go out, um, maybe after work, I'll go to his place or stuff like that. I decided that, okay, I'll go home. If I'm not doing anything, if I'm not busy, there's nothing to do at home, I'll take a walk. Sit down with my cousins and my siblings. Jeez, catch up, let's get to know each other. I started to read. I read books. You read till you fall asleep. Or catch up with your friends and all that. Write. 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 Pick up new habits. Um, I think that's number two. Number three. The fact that I wanted to stop having sex did not mean that it happened immediately. So whatever that habit may be, whatever that bad habit may be that you want to stop, it's not like it's going to stop instantly that okay because today i've decided that i'm going to stop doing this i'm going to stop masturbating i'm going to stop watching porn i'm going to stop having sex i'm going to stop smoking or drinking it's not like it's going to happen immediately hey it's work yeah and you are going to put in the work and i put in the work so get ready to put in the work um number four i think yes most importantly I learned to acknowledge God. The first time I started my journey to celibacy, after I'd come out of my previous relationship and um, the um, rebound relationships I had, I said, okay, it was enough. So one day, it was like, after a couple of months going to a year, I was like, ah, what the way? You have not, you know, had sex in, what, in a long time in a year. I was like, yes, well done, you did it, girl. Little did I know that my downfall was on the way. Hey, you know why I feel like um, I fell? I didn't acknowledge God. I felt like, you know, I did it in my strength, in my mind, in my power. It was me telling myself that I'm not going to do this again. And yes, that, and I did it. No. I acknowledge after this one that I confessed my sins and you know I went back on a journey of staying away from um, sex. This that was when my um, journey to celibacy truly, truly started. You know when I remember when I think that ah, what has been X Y Z number of times? Yes, clinical clinical that you've not had sex. I'll be like, oh wow, Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you for helping me, thank you for keeping me. Because brethren, sister, I've been tempted, but I remember where I am coming from. I remember why I am doing it, and I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you for helping me. And on the days that I am weak, I am tired, I really want to, you know, throw caution to the wind. I will go to this same Holy Spirit. I'll be like, Holy Spirit, please. I need your help. My body is weak. Help me. And he sends help always. He sends help always. So since that time, I have never failed to acknowledge that God has helped me. I, I didn't do it on my own. I couldn't have done this on my own. I, I've stopped counting how many years I have been on this um, journey to, of celibacy. But year upon year, as the year keeps adding, I'm like, God, it is you that has helped me. And I am truly grateful. So here, let me see if I still have some lessons. Um, okay, yes. 
that's about it those are the lessons i learned on my journey so um share with me whatever habits you have stopped that you haven't done in a long while what lessons did you learn share what lessons you learned from your journey to stopping that bad habit and how far you have come please feel free to share in the comment section if you're shy you can send me an email i'm going to write my email address in the um um description yes i'm going to write my email address in the description you can share with me i look forward to reading your comments i look forward to reading your comments as always thank you very much everyone for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you share share with your community of friends acquaintances co-workers neighbors etc share it on your whatsapp status share it on your insta story share it on your facebook share it on twitter share it everywhere shareable and don't forget to tell people to um you know like um follow us like comment share thank you very much everyone for watching thank you for taking your time and your data to watch I really appreciate you guys. I'm proud for you again. Thank you so much. Till the next time I come your way again, make sure you have an awesome time, an awesome day, an awesome week. Remember, don't allow anybody or anything steal your joy. God loves you. Have a superb week ahead. Bye.